कृतानी सरोपी सन प्रकृतिशाम अधिष्ठा संभवा आत्मा लॉर्ड श्री कृष्ण इज डिस्क्राइबिंग हाउ ही इनकारनेट सिंस फॉर द बेनिफिट ऑफ कॉन्डिशन सोर्स इन द मटीरियल वर्ल्ड ए सुप्रीम पर्सनैलिटी ऑफ गॉड है ही डिफेंड The Sanskrit word is avatar, 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 avataram. Avataram means who comes from higher plane down to this material world. He is called avatar. So sometimes Lord Sri Krishna comes himself, and sometimes he sends his representative of. For deliverance of the condition, so now, now the principal religion of the world, Hindu religion, Muslim religion, Christian religion, and Buddha religion, most of them believe some supreme authority or personality coming down from the kingdom of god just like in your christian religion lord jesus christ he claimed to be the son of god and coming from the kingdom of god to be claimed so this claim of lord jesus jesus christ we admit we be followers of and bhagavad gita we admit this claim and so there is no difference of opinion between uh, the followers of hindu religion and christian religion in detail there may be according to country climate and people in detail there may be uh, different but that does not make any material difference so far devotional service is concerned now there are several items for offering devotional service to the law they are called savanam kirtanam vishnu smaranam parasevanam archanam bandanam dasyam satyam atma nivedanam these are nine now here in this room we are performing the process of shravanam and kirtan ah uh, just like we chanted hare krishna hare krishna 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 hare 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 ram hare ram 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 hare this is reciprocation of shravanam and kirtan hearing and chanting if i as uh, chanted you heard and you chanted i heard let it progress so this is the two methods as the first method in the whole sense savanam kirtan and and what about hearing and chanting na vishnu vishnu means the supreme law vishnu <coughs> Not any other thing. If we make chanting and hearing in some other subject matter, no, that is not do. We have to hear and chant about Vishnu, the Supreme Lord. Similarly, Sarvam Kirtan and Vishnu Maranam meditation. If you meditate upon the Supreme Lord, that is also bhakti, devotional service, uh, Maranam. सर्वं कीर्तनं विष्णु स्मरणं पादसीवनं अर्चनं अर्चनं टेम्पल वासे ही इन योर कंट्री देयर इज नो टेम्पल वासे इन आवर इंडिया देयर इज टेम्पल देयर आर थाउजंड्स एंड थाउजंड्स ऑफ टेम्पल्स इन इंडिया एंड इन वृंदावन वेयर माय रेसिडेंशियल क्वार्टर इज वृंदावन 
It is a small city, about 50,000 people living there. But you will be surprised to know there are 5,000 temples. For 50,000 people, uh, there are 5,000 temples in one small city. And out of that, there are about dozens, very big temples, very, just like four, very big temples. So, temple worship is very popular in India. Similarly, you are part of churches here, that is Mangana. Mandana. Mandana means offering prayer. He also offer prayer to the Supreme Law. So that is also accepted as devotion and service. But Muslims also, they go to the mosque and offer prayer to Allah. And so practically and in Buddhism, Lord Buddha is accepted as incarnation of Krishna in Srimad Bhagavad. Ah. So we also, Hindus, we worship Lord Buddha as incarnation of God. There is a very nice heart recited by one great poet, Vaishnava poet. Ah. He may glad to hear and recite it. Ninnati Jabdavi Bhiraha Hatsuti Jatam Sadhya-vidaya-dhar-vishita-pasu-ghātam Ketava-dhrita-buddha-sarīraṁ Jaya-jada-vī-sahare Jaya-jada-vī-sahare The purpose of this verse is Oh, Lord Krishna, you have assumed the form of Lord Buddha, taking compassion on the poor animals. Because Lord Buddha's preaching was to stop animal killing, ahimsa, non violence His main objective was to stop animal killing. So similarly, uh, the some higher kingdom, and the kingdom of God, there is exactly the kingdom of God. We have got this information from this Bhagavad Gita, Sarastasma Subhava Anya. And now there is another nature, another nature, just like you, you have got a vision of this nature, you find this wall in the sky, blue, beyond the sky. Ah, millions and millions miles away, there is another star. Ah, Parastasma. Anna, Anna, there is another nature which is called Sanatana. You find in this Bhagavad Gita as we make progress. That is called Sanatana nature. Sanatana means that nature never annihilates. This nature, this material nature, uh, it is manifested at a certain time and it remains for a certain period and then the whole thing is dissolved. Uh, again, bhutya bhutya it is manifested and again uh, dissolved and in, in the uh, spiritual car. That is the uh, function of this material nature. And beyond this material nature, there is another nature, superior nature, which is called the kingdom of God. Uh, Yes. So, from that eternal nature, all these, either God, a representative of God, or incarnation of God, they come down at times. When there is a necessity, just like the other day, I explained to you, just like there is scheduled time of the appearance of the sun, and in America, just like at 4.30 in the morning, you find the sun rising, city of time. And again, 24 hours after, you find the sun, sun, sun rising. In every country, there is a city of time of the sun rising. 
So, everyone, you can become similarly happy as soon as you are in state in your position. The whole Bhagavad Gita is meant for convincing me, uh, uh, I mean to say, conditioned soul. We are conditioned. Just, uh, just like, uh, under uh, awkward circumstances, we are all, all conditioned. They are not free. Some condition is there. Either state condition or a, a nature condition or a condition led by other living entity or condition led down by my own body. So you are always in condition. So uh, Lord says, Krishna says, Ajoti, Sanna Brahma, although I have no a business to come down here. And uh, I am eternal. Both of us, uh, Lord and the living and dead, both of us are eternal. Bhutana and Isuroti said, Ishara, why he comes, when Lord comes, he comes out of his good, good will. And when we come, we are forced. We have been forced to accept this body and uh, the condition of the material nature. So, uh, uh, when Lord comes, or His representative comes, uh, they do not accept the condition of the material nature. That is the distinction between ordinary living entity and the Supreme Lord or His representative. That's right. Uh, Lord Jesus Christ was crucified. So, He could not be crucified. It is there. And, uh, I mean to say, mm, false notion, there was there a uh, resurrection. Uh, because God or God's representative, they are not under the laws of this material nature. So that's a uh, uh, very, uh, I mean to say, wide subject matter, we can gradually understand as we met progress in the Bhagavad Gita. <coughs> so Krishna says that uh, although I am the Lord of everything, Still, I assume this uh, uh, incarnation, um, and I come. I come. Prakitim Shama. The difference is the Prakitim Shama is Prakiti. Prakiti means nature. Now, we have got this body offered by the material nature. In the seventh chapter, we find that God has two kinds of nature. One is God. Uh, lower nature, so, lighter nature. One is called the lower nature, and the other is called the higher nature. That thing will be very nicely analyzed in the seventh chapter. When you go to the seventh chapter, now we are in the beginning of the fourth chapter. So uh, this Lord has. Two kinds of nature. One is called uh, lower nature, another is called higher nature, or superior nature, or uh, I mean to say inferior. This nature, this material nature, is inferior nature. And beyond this inferior nature, there is superior nature. And how superior and inferior is calculated? The Daya Idam Dharjati Jagat. Jiva Bhuta Mahabharo, we find, it is analyzed by this, that all this material nature, I mean to say, uh, earth, water, fire, air, ether, mind, intelligence, and ego, this age, this age kinds of material nature there, and they have been described as apara, apara means inferior. And beyond this eighth nature, there is an a ninth nature. Ah, and which is that? The Jiva Bhuta Mahabhava. This living entity, that is the living force. The living force, that is superior nature. And this uh, matter is inferior nature. And the whole world is moving due to the superior nature. Not the material, inferior nature. 
just like this tape um, uh, recorder. Uh, there are some difficulties in Rainyo. So as soon as some superior nature, some living entity comes and touches it, it goes on. Although the machine is all right, so unless there is touch of the superior nature, it cannot work. You have manufactured many wonderful machines. You have manufactured this Sputnik, uh, flying the outer space. But do you know that in spite of all wonderful mechanical elements of Sputnik or any machine, can it go on without any touch of a man? No. Unless the man in the laboratory that is the switch of electronic machines. Oh, this Putnik cannot fly in the space. That is not possible. Therefore, however wonderful may be this Putnik machine, unless there is touch of the living form, it cannot work. So that is the distinction between civilian nature and nature. You can understand. Now, we are now in, uh, in, in contact with inferior nature. That is our condition and life. We are also, we actually, as spirit soul, we belong to the superior nature. Just like God is superior nature. Prakriti Shama Vishta. The Lord says that I come uh, uh, down. I incarnate myself uh, in my superior nature, samadhita. Uh, but uh, what is our position? Although we belong to the superior nature, we have come to this material world not in superior nature, but we are in contact with the inferior nature. Therefore, death takes place. Our birth and death is due to this body. The body is, is as subject to the annihilation at a certain period, and that we accept as death. And similarly, when we accept another body and come out of the mother's womb to work here, then we call it birth. And when we give up that body and go away to so another to take another body, that we call death. So this birth and death is due to this inferior nature. So here, Lord Krishna says that when I come, I do not come in this inferior nature. It is a great mistake if somebody thinks that Krishna or Krishna's representative, uh, just like one of the greatest types of other uh, great uh, leaders of the religious uh, faith, they do not come with uh, the uh, inferior nation. They come with the superior nation. That we have to accept. If we have to accept the soul explained in the Bhagavad Gita, then we must accept that, that uh, God and His spiritual they do not come. Those who come directly from the kingdom of God, they do not come uh, accepting the uh, inferior nature. Now, the question may be, and why God and His representative do come? They are in superior nature, they are in the eternal kingdom. Why do they bother themselves to come here? Ah. Why do they bother themselves to come here? This question may be raised. Uh, as soon as we hear that God and His representative come, so next question, why do they come? Because we are, we do not know that they come to reclaim us. Therefore our question is, why do they come? And here the answer is, yada yada hi dharma jnani bhavati bharata Abhutanam Dharmasya Sadatmanam Siram Maham Paritrana Sadhana Vinasaita Dustitam 
धर्म संस्थापना धर्म धर्म is translated in english as religion but religion is meant uh, just like a kind of faith let's uh, like say i am hindu i am hindu means i have got faith in the hindu system of religious function you are christian that means you have faith in the christian system of religious function so religion so far in the christian concept it is described as a matter of faith but the word dharma it is not exactly the same meaning say faith in my change suppose i am hindu today now i can embrace tomorrow a christian or you are christian you can become a hindu there are so many changes people are free to accept one say and uh, give up another faith that is going on. But dharma does not mean that uh, faith which can be changed. Uh, dharma is a thing which cannot be changed. Uh, that means there is something in you, in me and everyone that is called dharma. That is called. That cannot be changed. Uh, and what is that? Uh, this is a very uh, fine analysis of human nature. When you analyze you, the human nature, you will find that one thing there is which is called rendering of service to others. Suppose I am a Hindu. Now I am doing something. I am rendering my service to my family, to my country, to my boss, or to others. Without rendering service, nobody can exist. We are all exchanging simply service. I am rendering service to somebody, somebody is rendering service to me. So whole world is existing under this system, rendering service. Your President Johnson, uh, he is supposed to be the chief man of your state. But still, he is rendering service. What is he doing? He is rendering service to the people. Ah. So he has the same business as you are rendering service to your boss and taking some money. Then again, with the money you are serving your family. Ah. So this is this service. Suppose I am now Hindu. I become a Christian, a Mohammedan. That my uh, real business of rendering service does not change. Uh, so dharma means which you cannot change. Okay. Just like there are many examples in natural objects, just like water. Water is liquid. It is not a fake, it is a fact. Water is liquid. Uh, you cannot say that water is liquid and if it changes its state, then it can, it can become solid. No. Liquidity of water cannot be changed. Whenever there is concession of water, if I, if I am blind, uh, uh, so uh, suppose somebody gives me, takes here a glass of water, I know it is liquid. So as the liquidity of water cannot be changed, now, as soon as I speak of fire, so you understand fire is hot. Now, if you, if you can, can you change, the fire becomes cold and still it is fire, no. As so long it is fire, it is hot. So long it is water, it is liquid. Similarly, Everything you analyze, take for example chili. Ah, chili. 
red pepper. Oh, it is very hot. Ah. Now when you say chili from the market, ah, you see how much, what is the degree of its hotness. If it is very hot, oh, it is very good chili. Ah. If you find a chili sweet like sugar, or you reject it, oh, this is not good. Because that is the religion of the chili, to become very hot. Ah. Similarly, sugar, if you take sugar, or if it is very hot, no, it is nonsense. I want sweet. So in everything, if you analyze, you will find some particular quality. That is his religion. That is his religion. So we are living entity. Forget yourself. Forget yourself that you are Christian and Hindu or Muslim, Muslim and good beings. Forget yourself. I am living in ah. When we come to this point, that is called liberation. That is called liberation. Sarvapādhi bilin mukta. When we become free from all this designation, that is called liberation. Liberation means nothing more. Ah. The conception of getting free from this designation which we have at work from the association of material means. That is called designation. Ah. Because I have got a particular body, therefore I have got so many designations. I call myself a man or animal, or I have got some name given by my parents, or because I am born in some particular country, I designate myself to belong to that country, and because I accept some particular faith, so I designate myself to that faith in so many ways. Ah. We are now designated. This designation should be given up. When designations are given up, then we are free, pure soul. In that pure soul, the religion is uh, to serve the Supreme. Ah. That's like uh, the, in a machine, you find a big machine. There are thousands of parts in the machine, but it is a small part. They are all giving service to the whole machine. That's why like your body, your body is a machine. So you have got your finger. Now, what is the, what is the function of the finger? What is the religion of the finger? The religion of the finger is to give service to the body. Just like I am giving service this way, this way, sometimes this way. So, this part of this body is meant for giving service to the whole body. Similarly, we are part and parcel of the Supreme. So our business is to give service. That service is now being rendered, actually. We are also serving now, but serving in designation. That. I'm serving, I'm serving, I'm, I'm not a master here. Ah, that is foolishness. Ah, just like I told you, even if President Johnson is not a master, he's also serving. Every one of us is a servant. But what kind of servant? Oh, I'm servant of my wife. I am servant of my family, I am servant of my country, I am servant of my society. And if there is nothing, then I am servant of my cat, and servant of my dog, and servant of my soul. Ah, if anybody I see in, in, in your country, there are so many gentlemen, they are very fond of becoming servant of cats and dogs. They are no children, but they are voluntarily become servant of cats and dogs. Because that attitude is there. You cannot avoid it. If you have nothing to spend, your wife, your children, then you have to catch some cat and dog and give them. That is your nature. You cannot avoid it. So that is your religion. So that. Now, our whole thing is to serve the Supreme. That, that our now designated service 
we are now in designated service. That means we, because due to this material warning, we have manufactured so many services. Service we, can, we cannot, just like the water cannot be uh, 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 more than a liquid thing. Similarly, we cannot be more than a servant. But because we have got so many designations, our service is being rendered in designation. That is different. Now, when we become free from the designation, and we come to our senses and render service to the Lord, that is our position of freedom. Real position. Real position. So, here, Lord says, Yada Yada Hi Dharma Sadhani Bhavati. Ah, Yada Yada Hi Dharma Sadhani Bhavati means that whenever there is some discrepancy in the modes of rendering service of the living entity. Ah, Yada Yada Hi Dharma Sadhani Bhavati. Dharma means, I have explained to you. Dharma is my real nature. Dharma means my real nature. Dharma is not a state. Dharma is not a designated state. Dharma is my real nature. So when the real nature of the living entity are geopardized, then at that time to make the adjustment of the Lord comes. Jagadrai Dharma Sadhani Bhagati and Obhutthana. Whenever there is some discrepancy in the natural sequence and natural life of the human being, and then artificial increase of sense gratification at that time, when there is too much sense gratification, that's like Lord Buddha. When did he appear? He appeared, and he appeared in India. The condition of his appearance, but as you know, I can still explain. When India was too much busy in animal slaughter. Oh. Of course, the Hindus, they, there are basic principles of oh. animal slaughter. They are, oh. just like in Mohammedans also, they have got some principles for animal slaughter. Oh. You know, those who have read Quran, the Mohammedan religion allows animal slaughtering once in a year, which is called Kurban, and they can slaughter animals in the mosque. Similarly, in the basic religion also, the animals are allowed to be slaughtered in some sacrifice. But no religion, either Mohammedan or Hindu, uh, uh, I do not know in detail of the Christian religion, but uh, they do not allow animal slaughter in the slaughterhouse. There are some particular rules and rules. Anyway, that is a religious religion. But when India was too much addicted for animal slaughtering under the plea of very sacrifice, the Lord Buddha appeared. Why? They misuse the basic injunction. There, misuse the injunction of the baby. So he, he proclaimed, no, this animal slaughter should be stopped. Uh, he, he did not agree even with the baby injunction. Uh, therefore, the Lord Buddha's preaching was not accepted. It was, uh, one, it was accepted, the whole of India accepted. Under the king, under the emperor or so, the whole of India became Buddhist. But later on, Sankara died that year, and he met against the Vedantis. So India, Buddhist religion from India was practically vanished. Oh. So these are historical facts. The real fact is that as soon as the natural sequence of living entity is geopardized, at that time, uh, non-religious principle, unnatural life becomes prominent and people become embarrassed. At that time, the incarnation of Lord is unnecessary. Uh, Again, okay. Yada Yadahi Dharmasa Granin Hauti Bhav. Whenever there is discrepancy in the natural life, uh, there is a sense view. Religion uh, means the natural sequence of life. 
when there is some discrepancy in that natural sequence of life, and there is artificial way of life, at that time the Lord or the representative comes either as incarnation or the representative of God. That is the rule. There are Rādhi Dharma Sajjāni Bhavati Bhārata and Abhutthāna Adhāra Dharma Sajjāni. Unnatural life. When the two must have to unnatural life, at that time the Lord takes it off. Why? And it is necessary. It is necessary for its pranayam sadhana. Ah. Always you know there is always a class of men who are always God fearing. Ah. There may be uh, uh, the percentage of such persons very uh, small, but uh, you will find uh, uh, that is the way of nature. Uh, there will be some persons who are devoted to God. Uh, they are called sadhu. 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 Sadhu means uh, sadhu description is there. Sadhu means faith or sense. Who is a saint? Who is a sadhu? Uh, that expression is given. Kritik sama karunita. Kritik sama karunita sweeta saruhuta na ajata sattva shanta sadhava sadhu bhushana. This is the definition of sadhu. Sense. Who is a sense? A sense is called who is very tolerant. Tolerant. Tolerant to the utmost. Ah, you have got very good example of Lord Jesus Christ, a great saint of sadhu, you are supposed, more than sadhu. Now, just see his giver, how much tolerance you are. You are being crucified and you are praying God, O oh Lord, forgive these people what they are doing. Ah, this is the significance of sadhu. Pitik sava karunika. Ah, for their personal sake, they are always very tolerant, but they are very kind to all people, all living entities. Oh. Very kind. In spite of their all disadvantages, they try to give something, uh, real knowledge to the people uh, in general. Karma. And Śrīla Sarvhutāna and a sadhu is not a friend of a particular class, particular community or particular country. No. A sadhu, a saint is he who is friend of all, not only of human beings, even of animals and less than animals. Oh. These are the qualifications of sadhu. Ajata, Satrava, uh, and they have no enemy. Or they are not anyone's enemy. Uh, everyone's friend. Enemy, of course, even the, the greatest man will find some enemy. This is the nature of this world. Even the most perfect man will have some enemy. So, that is the one thing. But this sadhu, this friend, is no, no one's enemy. He is friend of enemy. Sitiksava karmika srida sadhu bhutana ajato satrava shanta. They are nobody's enemy. And shanta, all a peaceful. These are the qualifications of sadhu. Now here, the Lord says that I come, or my representative come. Why? For it's now sadhu now. Sadhu now. Oh. The Lord is very much answer for the saintly person oh. who has satisfied everything for the service of the Lord. They are very, very dear to the Lord. Lord cannot tolerate any insult or any and to be dear to a sadhu. Also sadhu, they do not have and say, mind in their insulting. They do not mind. But the Lord will never tolerate. He says, sadhu. Just like a small boy, your cat, if somebody slaps him in the street, ah, then boy may excuse, ah, all right. But his father or mother will never tolerate. Why you have slapped my son? That is me. Ah. Similarly, the sadhu, who is a great devotee of the law, 
Being mine, the color and he can crucify, he can do any misdemeanor at him. He is never angry. But God will never tell us. He must always remember that. He has got special protection, special vision ah, on the Sadhu. He will find the Bhagavad Gita. Yeah. Samoham Sadhuta, Samoham Sadhuta, if you know, I mean, the Shastina Priya, the Lord says, I am equal to everyone. Otherwise, how can you God? He is equal to everyone, yes. I am equal to everyone. Nobody is my enemy and nobody is my friend. Samoham Sadhuta, if you know, I mean, the Shastina Priya, nobody is my enemy, nobody is my friend, I am equal to everyone. But Jesu Bhajanti Maha Sitya Teshi Teshi But anyone who is devoted to me, oh, I have got particular attention for him. Although he is neutral, he still the person who is devoted, he is always thinking of Krishna, Krishna content. Oh, there is special protection, special. Oh. Therefore, Lord Krishna declares he is trying to be Gita. Kontya Pratijani hi nami vastat pranasthati. My dear Kontya, Arjuna, you can declare it in the, to the world that my devotee will be never vanquished. Never be vanquished. So yes, the same thing is said. What is the mission of God? Why does he come down? Now, that is explained here. He says, Paritrana Sadhuna. I come down, I entice myself, or I send my representative only for the protection of the sense people in faith. And Vinasaya to Dushkitam, Dushkitam, are those who are miscreants, just to finish them. The Lord Krishna's mission this was to two things. Paritrana Sadhunam Vinasaya to Dushkitam. He wanted to study. Arjuna, the five brothers, the most pious uh, and devoted uh, and chatriya, uh, he wanted to stand his death for ruling over this world and he wanted to vanquish the party of Arjuna. That was his mission. Two things. Paritrana, Sadhunam, Vinayasaya, Tadushita. Tadushita, Dharma, Sadhunam, Sadhunam, And another mission is to stand it what is real. Religion. What is it? In the name of religion, so many things are going on. But the real religion is that we must know that our natural function is to render service to the law. That, that is real religion. Ah. And forgetting this, forgetting this principle of life under designation of this matter, I am serving giving my service to so many things. That my because I am naturally uh, uh, <coughs> now just like you take the uh, knife. Now what is the function of knife? Knife function is to cut. You can cut a pencil and you can cut your throat. Uh, the function of the knife is nothing but when you cut a throat, then the knife becomes polluted, but when you oh, yeah. uh, why uh, you? Don't discuss with God. Uh, so similarly, uh, the function, the function of the living entity, uh, the original natural function is to render service. And when the service is misused, it is rendered when it, where the service should not be rendered. When it is misused, that is called dharma sadhvani. Ah, that means discrepancy in the natural function of human life. So when Lord comes, He has three functions. He gives protection to the saintly person. He vanquishes the, uh, I mean to say, irresponsible or irreligious or uh, demonic person. And uh, He establishes the real religion. Real religion. Dharma Sanasthavana Kaya, Sambhavani Juge Juge. He comes down not only once, ah, but he comes down many, many times. 
many many times. Uh, uh, because the, this material world is such. Now suppose a, an adjustment is made. Uh, that again, some after some time it will disappear. Uh, that's why like there was such one. Uh, there saw some armistice and some elemental peace element was made between Germany and the other party. Uh, then again the second war took place. And again, uh, 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 preparation is going on for the third war. You see? So this is more or less like that. Even if you make a very good arrangement, uh, it will gradually deteriorate. Uh, this, is, this is the function of the time. Solve it. Uh, that's why like you, you build up a very nice house. Uh, then after fifty years, it deteriorates. And after hundred years, it's more deteriorates. Uh, take, take, for example, your body. Uh, when it, is, it, it was newly born, when I was a child, a oh, very look, good looking child, everyone is there, uh, I'm kissing and everyone is what, now I'm becoming only nobody cares. So this is the function of this material nature. Even if you make a very good adjustment, gradually it will glide down to the lowest status. Therefore, it requires a periodical adjustment for that reason. Uh, the supreme law or the supreme law. That, that is explained. Yes. The Puritana and Sanduna did not try to discuss it. Uh, for protecting the saintly person and for vanquishing the, uh, I mean, the unfaithful, unbelievers and uh, for establishing the real uh, function of the living entity, Dharma Sanskapana and Sambhavani Jivijiya. I come down uh, not only once, but many times in many millenniums are uh, that is a function of Krishna. Thank you very much. Now we can ask any questions.